Hello, this is Denise Simone, fourth year ministerial student with the Holmes Institute. Tonight is 
the third in a series of five talks based on the book Full Catastrophe Living by John Kabat-Zinn. In week one, we briefly covered some elementary ideas to manage our daily living and be more mindful and present day by day, moment by moment. In the second week, we took a deeper look at meditation and its many forms. Tonight, what I would like to discuss isn't talked about in the book, Full Catastrophe Living, and it's also not talked about or specifically supported by Ernest Holmes, the Science Mind textbook, or religious science in general. However, I have attended workshops on some of these health modalities at my home church, Mile High, and I have taken a few courses through the Holmes Institute that discuss and teach most of these modalities. In the description of the session, I stated that we would cover a look at some alternative practices to add to our basic spiritual physical toolbox. This week, we will look at energy work, chakra balancing, and Reiki from the perspective of integration. So what are these modalities? Do they work? Should we turn our backs on Western medicine and pursue them? Why aren't they commonly known and available? First and foremost, I want to be very clear that none of these modalities I am talking about today should nor am I condoning or encouraging in any way to turn our backs on Western medicine or go looking for a guru to heal you of any kind of medical condition you may be seeking treatment for or looking for an alternative to what your medical doctor has set forth. What I am putting forth here are some alternative and integrative practices that have brought me some level of relief from my own health conditions. It has been my experience that integrating some spiritual and alternative healing practices has given me a feeling of wholeness in that I'm treating my entire being and not just my physical body. First off, energy work. Dr. Sue Morger is an amazing author, chiropractic doctor, and integrative health practitioner. In her book, The Energy Codes, Mortar strives to explain the energy fields of the human being. She explains and teaches multiple breathing exercises throughout the book to bring our inner energy into balance. The same energy fields are explained in Quantum Doctor by Amit Goswami, which is also the title of a Holmes Institute course. Goswami is a physicist, a physicist by training and an outspoke, outspoken proponent of quantum medicine. Deepak Chopra says of Goswami and his book that at the heart of all illness and recovery is consciousness and his integrative method offers physicians and patients a whole new way of applying healthcare with greater potential for healing. All of these brilliant practitioners talk in depth about the human body as made of energy, which can become unbalanced and can be brought back into balance and health through different methods. Dr. Mortar teaches in her book, The Energy Codes, that several breathing exercises that I have used and felt my balance return. Dr. Gutswami talks about Eastern medicine, such as homeopathy, acupuncture, and Ayurveda. Within his talks on acupuncture, he discusses the concept of chi, our inner energy system, which flows through our chakra system, more on chakras to come, which can be blo become blocked or unbalanced and how to remedy that imbalance. Central to both of these authors and their teachings is the chakra system. Some spiritual views hold that our body is more than just a physical and mental. It is also an energetic system called chakras. Chakra is a san Sanskrit word that means wheel or cycle. There are seven main chakras situated along the spine from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. This age old belief has become integrated into many new age styles of thought. Chakras are thought to provide subtle energy that helps your organs, mind, and intellect work at its best level. Chakra and spiritual energy have been thoroughly examined, have not been thoroughly examined in medical studies, but they may help you think about your own mind and body like any religion or belief. I have included a slide here with the seven main chakras, the colors and basic location of each. 
in order to fully explain the chakra system would take far longer than we have today. However, I mention it because both Dr. Sue Mortar and Dr. Amit Gatswami delve deeply into the chakra systems in their books, their works, and their beliefs about how to affect our overall health. Since all month we are discussing mindfulness-based stress reduction, I think that both of these books are well worth your further investigation. One of the integrative health modalities that was not discussed in either of the previously mentioned books, however, I received amazing, amazing gifts from is Reiki. Reiki is a Japanese form of energy healing or a type of alternative medicine. Reiki practitioners use a technique called palm healing where or hands-on healing through which universal life force energy is said to be transferred through the palms of the hands of the practitioner to the patient in order to, in order to encourage emotional or physical healing. This definition can be a little bit misleading though because the Reiki I received during my illness to wellness journey was by distance, meaning the practitioner was nowhere near me as she worked on me, nor did she ever put her hands on me or near me, but I could feel the transfer of the energy that she was transmitting to me. I know it all sounds a little woo woo, but it definitely had a positive effect on my system. So much so, so that I enrolled in Reiki training and finished the first two levels of training and I am currently doing my master's apprenticeship in Reiki training. In Reiki training, we do not cover the basics of chakra healing. In my case, it was assumed that I already knew about the chakra system. And when serving others with Reiki treatments, I can definitely feel the chakra energy as I do that. Reiki offers a set of principles or precepts as they are commonly called. In fact, Buddhist monk Mikhail Utsui who created this, this spiritual practice called Reiki, believed Reiki principles are the key to living a happy life and serve as medicine to the soul. These principles themselves are comparable to affirmations or intentions, and they're very much being focused on here and now, about being focused in the here and now. They're there to encourage us to embody the Reiki energy throughout the day, every day. These principles are interesting and let's talk about them a bit. Number one, just for today, do not worry. If you're a warrior with a, with a capital W, this Reiki principle will help you ground when you're starting to consider the future. Our egos get overwhelmed with making up imagery, few imaginary futures and then living in the present as though the imaginary future we made up in our mind is real. This principle shows us to slow, slows us down to this present moment, to just now, to just this, just today. This practice of tapping into faith and breathing into the present moment can create significant shifts in our individual and collective consciousness. Principle number two, just for today, do not anger. Experiencing anger is not necessarily a bad thing. It signals to us that someone or something has perhaps crossed a boundary. What actually matters is how we deal with that anger. When something makes you viscerally angry, try to get to the root of it. Sit with it for a moment before acting. This is not about suppressing emotions and anger, but rather coming to terms with our anger and peeling away the layers to see just what the trigger is. Principle number three, just for today, be humble. Our ego can be a bit of a show off, especially when we've done something great. And this Reiki tenant encourages us to bring it down a notch. Our ego loves to take credit for all the accomplishments and get thanks for its givings. If you notice your ego getting a boost off of compliments and how wonderful you are, let yourself bow down to your spirit every once in a while and simply love to love. Principle number four, just for today, be honest. This isn't about not robbing a bank or any of that. It's about being your most authentic self. It's, it's a great way, an extremely rewarding goal to strive for, but in practice, it can be very challenging. We, we grow up as pack animals trying to fit in and be accepted. 
when the most important thing to do is honor and love yourself just as you are. So instead of trying to make yourself fit a specific mold to be accepted or hide the truth of who you are, use this ideology as a prompt to let your real self shine through. The beauty of this just for today part of the mantra is that it urges you to focus on just one baby step today and then repeat tomorrow and so forth. Number five, just for today, be compassionate towards yourself and others. Compassion is the healing balm to judgment and anger. This Reiki principle is a nudge to cut ourselves and others some slack and to give the benefit of the doubt whenever possible. Practicing compassion, of course, isn't always the easiest thing to do, but it can be the most rewarding. I think you can see clearly that these five Reiki principles are very familiar to the way we were all striving to live to be to live as awakened spiritual beings. Just for today, at the beginning of each principle, takes away the talk of forever and brings us back to the today, to the present moment. Any and all of these alternative health and wellness modalities require a bit of open-mindedness. If you are completely certain that they will not help you, you are probably correct. But if you approach them with an open mind and an open heart, they will most likely help you immensely even if the most they do is to calm you and help you cope mentally and spiritually along with your allopathic medicine efforts. It has been my pleasure to share these alternative healing modalities with you. I hope that you will give one or all of them a try. Thank you for being here. Here at Center for Spirits Living Greater Las Vegas, we are a mission and vision driven community. We offer transformative educational opportunities, deep and meaningful moments of connection, uplifting Wednesday and Sunday services. We greatly appreciate your contributions that support the amazing work we're doing here in Southern Nevada. We have several easy ways you can contribute. We have text to give. Simply text the amount of your donation to our text to give number and you'll be prompted to enter your information. There's a link to our online donation page posted below this video where you can contribute by debit or credit card. And of course, you're always welcome to send a check to our office if that works better for you. All of your contributions go to support the great work that we're doing here in Greater Las Vegas community. Today is the day I will change my luck. I will find three pennies and they'll be heads up. I will walk like a queen in my tannies and jeans cause I know where I come from. From the stars and the sun, from that magical one, I am part of this thing called life. From the known to unseen, I am part of this thing called life I am one with this thing called life Today is the day I'll remember to see Only good, only God have been in through you and me I will not forget all the treasures to me Cause I know where I come from From the stars and the sun from the of this thing called life, yeah. From the known to unseen, everything in between. I am part of this thing called life. I am one with this thing called life. Yeah, today is the day I'll be more of myself. Love my skin where I've been and everyone else. No more push, no more pull, simply go as I thing called life, yeah. From the known to unseen, everything in between. I am part of this thing called life. From the stars and the sun, from that magical one, I am part of this thing called life, yeah. From the known to unseen, everything in between. I am part
part of this thing called life. I am one with this thing called life. I am loved by this thing called Science of Mind magazine is a treasure to be read and contemplated. Along with in-depth articles, there is a day-to-day -day spiritual support to be gleaned from its daily guides. Licensed practitioner Lynn Frankenberger hosts Adventures in Faith every Tuesday at 11 a.m. on Zoom, and you're invited to join in. This is a weekly group discussion that focuses on those daily guides and how to apply them. Check Facebook and our weekly newsletter for more details. CSL Greater Las Vegas brings you much of your favorite spiritual music every Friday at 7 p.m. with spiritual soundscapes. Enjoy performances from CSL GLV vocalists along with special guest singers. It's music for your soul. Subscribe to the CSL GLV YouTube channel to get a convenient link sent to you for each musical performance. At CSL Greater Las Vegas, it is our mission to inspire spiritual discovery through community connection, exploration, and celebration. This mission supports the all-inclusive vision of Centers for Spiritual Living worldwide in which we envision a world that works for everyone and all of creation. 